Welcome back. Malice Keith's solo exhibition titled False Refuge is currently up at the Gallery 2 in Johannesburg. This is a showcase of Malice's most recent body of work in which she explores botanical subjects matter for the first time by exposing us to the magic and the drama of plants. And to tell us about uh, this showcase that will run until the 8th of May this year, Malice joins me now via Zoom. Malice, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Morning to you too. Let's start understanding where your love for drawing and creating botanical art or drawings comes from. Um, it's, it's just a love for drawing. I think I was born with it. I didn't have much choice in the matter. But um, the botanical art is, um, I grew up on a nature reserve and the art teachers weren't around, obviously, because it was quite far away. So um, I used to draw out of my dad's botanical art books. That's how I kind of like started the drawing. And um, growing up with him, we had to go look for these plants all the time as well. So um, I got to know them quite well. Um, and then it's the first time I've decided to do it because, um, you know, I kind of got bored drawing my other stuff. Yeah. And I thought it's also like, you know, a challenge because, you know, it's something new to do. So mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I did it. And I have to say that I'm quite tired of green at this point. And I believe that your dad had a huge impact on your love and fascination with plants that you later copied on to the canvas. Tell us more about this. Um, yes, he um, he was like, um, he used to, he can speak Sutu and Zulu very well. And um, okay. he used to speak to, um, you know, like um, research these plants and would go with people who knew them into the felt and um, dig them up and, you know, record them and make mm. sure that it's the right one because, yeah. you know, it, the plants can look very similar and then obviously they are not. Yes. So um, I think, what was the question again, sorry? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, well, I've just wanted us, I want you to take you through, you know, your dad having a huge impact on yes. your love oh, yes. and fascination yeah. with plants. And uh, I understand yes. that you later copied that fascination onto the canvas. Yes, yeah. Um, it is because you know what, like if you, it's it's just a variation that there that there is out there, and also just the thinking of like how they develop and they become these extraordinary things, and then what I find also very very fascinating is like how do you how do you, in the first place, you know, those very early peoples, like how do they know which ones to eat and which ones not to eat? You know, that's trial and error. So, it's this like huge. Um, depth that we almost have, you know, in terms of like the knowledge that we have today, we have to honor what the sacrifices and all the learning that has gone into it and all the careful studying that has gone into it. So um, it is like, it's like just honoring like all of that history in a weird way. So that is, that was the other part of the fascination of drawing these plants. Okay. And why the title False Refuge? What's in that title? Um, it is, it is, um, for me, it was, I was just thinking about like how with the pandemic at the moment and looking for, uh, you know, a vaccination for the coronavirus and how difficult it is. Um, and also following how um, we think we have something and then we don't because we're so pressed for time. Um, I, I was thinking of how, like with the plants as well, just that, that thing, because if you, some of these plants, if you harvest them at the wrong time, or if you if you mistake them for one that looks very similar, it can cost you your life. Mm. Um, so, and also in the preparation of these plants, that's a very important thing. How you prepare these plants, if you use them in the wrong way and the wrong moment, then it can cost you life. Okay. And I was just thinking, like it's like how you want this refuge, and you, but it's also like a false refuge in the sense of like you think you have like this this um, the out, if I can put it that way, or the save but how it can also present itself very wrong if, okay. you, if you do not know your history. Yeah, and for this exhibition, Malise, you have included some works that you've done prior and during the pandemic. Speak to us about all this work and the story behind it. For me, it was like, it's like, you know, it's a luxury to sit in your studio and contemplate life and think about all these like really interesting and like, you know, existential thoughts, if you want to put it that way. And then when when your freedoms and things that we take for granted um, has been taken away because you have to now be in lockdown and you have very strict rules that you have to adhere to. And it's something that is so small that you can't even see that is like putting these restrictions on your life. Making art becomes very different because that luxury of like delving into the like, you know, the existential crises becomes very different. It is like now you are faced with different realities and there's this like, and 
most importantly for me was that like um, it it is things that we've taken for granted. Now you have to look at it again and go like, can I do this? Should I do this? That's also the very important part. So your day and what has been known and what has been always like there to comfort you is completely different now. It is like a, and the, the impact that has have made on my art is that it is like, um, it's much more direct now. Um, and also it is not, it's much more tactile in the sense that it's not set in the realm of like, you know, wanderings, if I can yeah. put it that way. Yeah. yeah. And this exhibition will be the first ever botanical drawings you'll show, Malise. How do you it's, feel about the body of work you've produced? Um, it, is, it is quite a radical departure from what I've done before. So I'm quite nervous about it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, on a technical level, it is fine. It is the, the, that hasn't, um, you know, um, changed in any way. Okay. But on a conceptual level, it has quite a lot. So um, it is, I've been doing this a long time, and I have to say it's the one that I'm the most nervous about. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. All right. And the exhibition is opening in just a couple of hours, Malise. Tell us uh, more about yeah. what will be happening today and, uh, you know, all the details around the venue and the times and the opening times thereof. Um, it is on at Gallery 2, which is on Jansmatz Avenue in Joburg. Mm -hmm. And it will open at 11 till 2 o'clock, I think. Um, so they have um, COVID-19 regulations, obviously. So just, uh, you know, like a small amount of people will be allowed into the gallery at, you know, all times. And... Um, there will be wine and refreshments and a catalogue. So you just have to go and enjoy the art and, you know, that's it. All oh, right. and it's on until the, uh, the 8th of May. Yes. All right. Marlies, great chatting to you and uh, all the best today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And joining us on Zoom is artist Marlies Keith, and she's been talking to us about her solo exhibition, False Refuge, that opens today and will run until the 8th of May at the Gallery 2 in Johannesburg.